say the first uh, introductory lesson about how you use Laken in uh, scheduling softwares or to schedule jobs. So uh, I'm gonna do this example here and give you a small introduction about how to use it. So I'm gonna close this and uh, read the exercise we've got. So here, in case we have, well, we do, ha we have to schedule the following jobs uh, defined by their way and their processing time. And we're gonna use, um, so uh, with the following way and processing time, we're gonna find the optimal sequence and the job we have. And we'll see how does that, uh, how, would that, how, how to do this. Uh, applying the weighted shortest processing time okay and I need to remind you the sign here where well, the digit one it means like one machine so let's see how to begin uh, I'm gonna close all this okay and we are gonna do a new new file save a chance to know to the old already exist one no so uh, in this example we're gonna choose like a single machine and we do we're gonna do other examples for more machine and the number of jobs we have is seven okay so here we go so you have the first job you could name the job okay you could put comment on it the job has uh, precedence to it and so we have the release date processing time so in our case we just have the way and the processing time so the way is zero the processing time is three uh, job two the way is 18 and the processing time is six uh, job 3 so we have 12 and the processing time is 6 as well job 4 is 5 and or is 8 and 5 uh, job 6 is 17 and 8 and job 7 is 16 and 9 okay if you wonder where did I obtain those values from I got them from here uh, and we're trying to solve this problem. So the method we're going to use is weighted shortest processing time. Okay, so here you've got as one machine is scheduled to do the job. Okay, and the machine is available. And we have the seven jobs here in our system. You could edit a job. Okay, by clicking of those, you could add a job. You could uh, delete or remove a job. You could add one of the job existing so we're gonna see because part two is saying if we change the processing time of one job from six to seven how does it affect the solution all right so let's start and i'm gonna show you a few things before we move on here is concerning the windows like how you how you put, you put the windows and and i'm gonna close all this just want to keep the one we are interested in okay so we've got those two i'm gonna close this as well so we have and we'll open this as well so we've got those two windows so let's start so we need to schedule and the rules is weighted shortest processing time okay so the first job to be scheduled is two the second is five okay it's three six seven four and one okay so if i need to see how uh, what was the time like what's the time we went through it in order to get those results you could see here like the c maximum okay is 46 and literally you just like count all those values so 3 plus 6 9 15 20 28 28 and 18 is 48 minus 2 46 okay and so do you have any uh, for example here like the maximum the summation of total completion time is 196 and the summation of the weight of completion time is 2002 if you multiply weight times the completion time of every single items one after the other for example job one the completion time is 46 times the weight is zero two for example the completion time is six times away 18 so 18 times 6 and you sum all those value and so let's see here if we need to find the weighted uh, shortest processing time so we're gonna click on this value uh, so total 
the total weighted completion time the total weighted completion time is 2002 the same one as in here and we have the max spam the so steam maximum is 46 okay uh, in case we need to do any modification on the value we have inserted on any of the job so I'm gonna consider job 5 okay and let's edit this job save and proceed so you need to save it of course so save uh, job 5 has already been inserted so we're gonna change job 5 to weigh is equal to 8 and processing time is equal to 4 as job 5 okay and I'm gonna change job 6 to uh, way to 17 and the processing time to 8 and job 7 to 16 and the processing time to 9 okay so I'm gonna uh, save this as jobs and I'm gonna run to see what we will obtain as output so schedule rule weighted shortest processing time okay and we do a uh, summary to obtain the result is 1610 as desired summary the one we want okay so if you have any question please let me